Okay, here I'm in the editor of uh, MemoQ and I have a list of uh, phrases like uh, two days ago, three weeks ago, four months ago and so on, which are all based on the same construction. So we have different units of time, days, weeks, months, years and so on, and we have uh, different amounts of these units, two, three, four, five. Uh, here they are written with letters, but we also have uh, similar amounts written with digits. So 1, 10, 11, 16 and so on. And we want to translate this into French. And in French the construction will be similar, but instead of having a go at the end, we will have il y a at the beginning. So two days ago will be il y a deux jours, three weeks ago will be il y a trois semaines, four months ago will be il y a quatre mois, and so on. And we want to automate this, but uh, since the word order is different, we cannot really easily use uh, term bases by adding the individual components, like uh, the numbers uh, 2, 3, 4 and uh, the units uh, days, weeks, months and ago, uh, because we would have to copy them in the right order one by one. So it's not easy. And instead we will be using a powerful feature of MemoQ called auto-translation rules. So let's have a look at this. So first I'll go to Project Home and uh, then to Settings. And in Settings I will select uh, Auto-translation rules, which is this icon here. And I have created the set of rules already, which I called Ago Ilia. So let's have a look at the content of this uh, rule set here. So here I have uh, three rules, but uh, before looking at them, I will move to the third tab, which is labeled Translation Pairs. And here I have uh, on the left-hand side, I have uh, two custom lists. The first one is called Numbers in Letters, and it includes on the right-hand side items like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, and their French equivalents, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. As you can see, I did not include uh, the first number, so 1. And the reason for that, well, there are two reasons. First of all, it's followed by words in singular, that's one reason. And the second reason is that in French, it can be either un or une, depending on the gender of the word that follows. So, for instance, day would be jour, which is masculine, un jour and uh, week will be semaine, which is feminine, so une semaine. So for that reason, I did not include one. Then the second custom list are time units, and these are words like days, weeks, months, in plural, and their French equivalents, jour, semaine, mois. I also included the special case of uh, week, month, year in the singular form with one, so one week is une semaine, as we saw, it's feminine, whereas uh, one month is un mois, and uh, one year, un an. I did not include here one day, and the reason for that is that uh, you don't really say one day ago in English, you usually say yesterday. And same in French, hier, and not uh, il y a un jour. And then I also added the same forms in singular. So week, month, year, uh, which will be used for uh, one week, one month, one year, uh, when with one as a digit. So now that we have seen these custom lists, let's see how to use them in rules. So here we are in the first tab, auto translation rules. And the first rule is uh, composed of uh, three uh, groups. The first group in parentheses is numbers in letters, so that will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. The second group will be time units, uh, days, weeks, years and so on, and then ago which is a fixed value. And on the right hand side we have uh, the replacement string and that will be ilia at the beginning and $1 and $2 they refer 
to the groups that we had on the left hand side. So the first group in parentheses will be dollar one and the second one will be dollar two. Now we can test these uh, rules with the preview function. So if I write here two weeks ago and uh, let's say three months ago, if I press on preview, MemoQ will tell me that the rules are correct because I see il y a deux semaines, il y a trois mois, that's exactly what I expected. Now let's move to the second rule and the second rule is uh, similar to the first one except that the first group here will be for numbers written in digits. So two, three, four, etc. as digits and not as letters. And backslash D means any uh, digit and uh, one comma two uh, after uh, backslash D means uh, one or two uh, digits. So I would not include very large numbers. Otherwise, the rule is the same and uh, we also refer to these uh, groups with $1 and $2. Let's test it with the preview function. So if I write, let's say, five weeks ago and um, 18 years ago and I press uh, preview, I will get il y a cinq semaines, il y a 18 ans. So that also works fine. And the third rule is uh, similar to the first one, except that we only have uh, time units. And this is for the special case of week, month, year, and so on, with one as letters. So one week, one month, one year. Let's test how it works with preview. So if I write here one week ago and uh, one year ago, preview, and I have il y a une semaine, il y a un mois, so that works. Here it's important that uh, the order of these rules is important, so it's important that this last rule is the last one, otherwise we will have a problem uh, because it will be executed at the wrong time. So now that we have all these rules, let's see how they work in practice. So I click on OK here and I go back to the translation. And in my document, I will now, oh, sorry, I forgot to uh, enable the actual rule. So I will tick it here. Now it's enabled and I can move to translations and uh, this document. And here I can see right away that uh, two days ago was recognized via the rule. So it is il y a deux jours in French. The green means that it's recognized as uh, an auto-translatable uh, auto and uh, the violet means that um, uh, it's a fragment uh, assembly. So we will now use the pre-translate function of MemoQ and I will tick perform fragment assembling in order to have uh, the translation copied to the target segment. So OK. And now MemoQ has uh, copied all the fragments to the target column. So I have all my translations, il y a deux jours, il y a trois semaines, il y a quatre mois, and so on. Even with uh, numbers as digits, like here, une semaine, un mois, or dix jours, onze semaines, and so on. So that's how we could use uh, the auto-translation rules function of MemoQ. And hopefully with this uh, simple example, you will find other more sophisticated applications for your needs.